Hello darlings, how are you? Um, I just had to get my film crew to, you know, turn on the button just then. How are you lovelies? Um, Dr Lucy here from Real Life Medicine. Tonight I am cooking another super simple dish. It will be done in about 12 minutes and it's called lemon chicken butter, uh, lemon butter chicken or I'm actually doing lemon butter fish. You can choose whichever you like. I just happen to have fish in the fridge. So um, I'm just gonna wait for a few more of you to pop on before I get cracking. Hope you've all had a wonderful week. It's blooming freezing down here in Melbourne. We had the most horrendously cold weekend. Um, but do you know what? I am, I'm a tiny bit in love with the Udi. So I got an Udi, which is this gigantic sort of blankety um, kind of hoodie, I suppose. It's the play on words. And I got it from Mother's Day. It's super snuggly. I was going to wear it tonight. <laughs> but I've got this new routine. So, hello Maureen, darling, how are you? The new routine that I'm doing, hey Heather, is when I get home from work, I go into my room and I take off any makeup I might have on, which is usually about nothing because half the time I never wear makeup. But if I happen to put some on, I go and I wash my face because that's part of my new skincare. And then I put on the moisturizer and I do all that sort of stuff. And then I get into this gigantic Udi. Um, my one happens to be this really plush, navy, beautiful velour. Um, I think my husband's mortified, but I don't care because it's so snuggly. Hey Liz, how are you? And I just love the idea in winter of snuggling down. So, hey Kerry, how are you? Look, my eyes are really good. I can actually see it from here at the moment. I'm also, I'm, I've got this iPad thing down here, but I'm just trying to see if, I'm, if I've come up. You know, sometimes, plus last time, oh, there I am. Last time I did this, um, the sound came on. There was this sort of double take. It was all a bit annoying. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get cracking. So basically, I'm gonna chop the veggies first because when I've done the fish, and then I don't, I don't sort of have to run over it amazingly and wash my hands. So you'll remember last week when I cooked my amazingly cheesy chicken avocado in about one second, that I just, I'm doing broccolini and beans, they're a great combo, and I've already washed them. And basically I'm just giving the tails a bit of a trim, and I just put them in the microwave. I don't put any water in, I don't put them in a steamer, I just whack them in for one stingy minute. So um, I've got a new setup tonight. I'm a bit further back and I, I'm hoping, especially if I move this giant thing out of the way, that you'll actually be able to see some of my chopping because, you know, <laughs> my chopping's up there with my, you know, incredible skills as a chef, not. As you know, I'm sure if, uh, if chefs actually watch my culinary technique, they'd be horrified because really I just go, I get all the beans and I go, right, that'll do that end. And I sort of shovel them all up this end and most of them get done and I don't really care. Uh, basically, I just don't really like those endy bits on the beans, so I just whack them in there. My hubby's home tonight, so I'll cook enough veggies for two of us and fling that in there. And that, actually, no, I'll do a bit more. It's one of those things where you think, oh, how many will we have? But I must say, I'm a bit of a broccolini fan. He's not. He'll eat the beans. I mean, he'll eat a bit of it, but I think he thinks it's like eating sticks. But anyway... Now, part of the reason um, I do love a few greens, I just love, I actually just love, um, I do love veggies, I'm gonna say this, and I know that there are people out there in the low carb world that think veggies are, you know, the equivalent of kind of devil food, but honestly, I think for me, they really add some texture and flavor, and you know, there are some people that they don't, don't agree with veggies, as in their body doesn't agree with them, but luckily for me, I'm not one. So look at this. You can see, right, one bowl of veggies. I'm going to put the lid on and I'll stick that in the microwave in a minute. Now, I better turn this thing on and get it heated up. So what I'm doing tonight, it's really simple. And <laughs> so many people, like at work, they girls said to me, so what are you cooking tonight? And I go, I don't know. I'll have a look and see what's in the fridge. So as I was driving home, I'm thinking, what is in my fridge? Well, this week it is salmon. I often seem to have salmon on a Tuesday night, but if, if I had unthawed chicken, I would do it with chicken as well. Um, but then I go, right, what, what will I do with it? So I've got my protein, I've got a couple of veggies, I'm going to pick some fat and I'm going to pick some flavour. That's the formula. I cook pretty much like that every single 
night. Some protein, some veggies, some fat, and some flavor. It's so simple. So therefore I go, right, well, my fat is gonna be cream. I happen to have two half open tins of cream. Uh, why do I have half open ones? Well, I live with teenagers, so there you go. I like this brand, I don't know if you can see it. It's basically, it's dairy farmers. Look, it's from Coles or Woolies. You can get it in a small one, you can get it in a big one. Aldi do a, um, a pure cream too. The reason I like this is it's got nothing else in it. There is no fillers, there's no um, emulsifiers, there's no thickeners. It's just, as it says on the packet, pure cream. This company was bought out by a Chinese corporation. It's now been repurchased, I believe, by, back into Australian hands. So again, that also cheers me up immensely. So basically what I'm going to do, I've got some butter. What have I got? I've got Coles Organic Salted Butter. Again, you can buy whatever butter you like. Um, most of the butter in Australia is grass-fed because most dairy cows in Australia are grass-fed. Yay, hooray for us. We're very lucky. I mean, we don't have nearly the feed lot, the factory farming that overseas do for the majority of our meat. We do for pigs. It's really important that we be kind to pigs and try and buy your free range pigs if you can. Not your pigs, you know, free range pork products. So anyway, I'm just gonna bag a lump of butter in there. Um, I'll turn that up a bit. And then, now, I have the whole range, so that's why, that's why it's so easy for me to pick the flavour. I go, right, well, what's gonna go well with lemon, cream, butter, and again, how did I come up with this? I just thought of what is in my fridge. I've got some lemons. I've got a couple of dodgy ones as well. The dodgy ones, I'll, pop, I'll see how they go and just use them for the, um, for the juice. But this one's good enough for zest. So basically, I'm going to put some cream in. I'm gonna reduce it down, add a little bit of lemon juice, add a bit of this flavor stuff. So this one's garlic and dill. I'm pretty happy with that. I could have used anything, really. Um, if you wanted more of an Asian lemon flavor, you could put in some ginger if you wanted to. But I'm happy with just sort of good old fashioned butter and lemon. So anyway, I'll whack this in, put this in. So, you know, how much cream? Well, I don't know, whatever's in the carton, probably about three quarters for this one. And I'll have a look and see how it goes once it reduces down. So yeah, I reckon there's about three quarters. So how, how much is in this? 300 mils, so there's probably 200 mils. And I'll see there's about the same in this one. I might not need this one actually. And then, now you'll remember Cosmingle don't use any anti-caking agents or emulsifiers. I always give it a bit of a bang and a bit of a shake and then just fling this in here. I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know how much I've put in, just a few shakes. Seems to do the job. I'll just turn it down a bit because it's actually bubbling. I don't really want my cream to bubble. So, do you want to know something else exciting? <laughs> I found the lid. Woohoo! I knew you'd be thrilled. Um, so I'm just going to put that, I'm leaving the lid off for the moment and I'm going to do a bit of this zesting thing. How fancy are these? They're pretty fancy, um, but they make, and they do make zesting pretty easy. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. Um, Mary's daughter, who's, a, who's seven, one of her jobs, Mary gets her to do, because she loves it, is to zest lemons. So whenever they've got an abundance of lemons, she lives on a farm, so there's often lemons, and Mirabelle's got nothing much to do, suddenly Mirabelle is zesting away. Um, and they then gather it all up, and I think she probably sticks it in the freezer or something useful. Um, but I just thought, isn't it funny? It's a little activity. If you need dairy-free, Asian flavours, coconut cream are a good combo. Absolutely, Clara. And I'll show you over here. I found a cobram oil and it's got ginger and lemongrass infused into it. So if you wanted to do that with um, your coconut cream, although you'll remember I did do a ginger, lemon, ginger and garlic, coconut, something or other, salmon a few weeks ago. Wow, this thing's really having a great old time. So, I'll see if I can lift it up. Ooh, I'll just give it a bit of a stir. So, um, you can see the colours are in there. There's lemon in there, there's cream. Just see how that goes. Oh, my mum is beeping at me. 
So that's going really well. It's reducing down because I don't want it to be too runny. And basically I'm just going to poach the salmon in it. Um, oh, I might add in my, chop my lemon in now. Bit of a knife. Now, <laughs> here's a fancy trick. You see the chefs do this. Um, I don't know if it's kosher or not, but this is what I'm doing. You squeeze the lemon into your hand because if there's any pips, it, um, they fall into your hand and not into your dinner, which is very handy. Um, and there are a few pips. I tell you what, you wouldn't want to have any cuts on your hands because it'd be stinging like crazy. This is a very juicy lemon. Don't you think it's funny? You can open up a lemon and have like, you know, nothing in it, or you get that one that's just blue, juice galore. Oh, <laughs> how hard is this? A serviette that I've just found sitting around. Perfect. All right, so then, basically, what are we up to so far? About seven minutes. I mean, I could have done it a bit faster, but I'm gas baggy. And then I'm just gonna get my little fish, skin down, pop it in. Lid on. Now I'm just gonna run off and put my thing in the microwave, remember? One minute. Would chicken work rather than salmon as I don't like seafood? Joe, absolutely. I started at the start saying you could easily do this with chicken thighs. So do either the thighs or if you've got pieces and you want to do it as, a, as chicken chunks, you can. So you can use any, um, you can use a white fish if you don't like salmon. As I said, I just came in and went, right, what's in my fridge? Hmm, some butter, some cream, some lemon. I've always got the mingle and some salmon. Bang, there's a dish all made up together. So what I'm going to do is just go wash my hands and quickly put my veggies in the microwave for one minute. Um, so I'm talking to you from my sink as I quickly wash these. And now, a couple of bits for show and tell. First of all, it's very handy because I happen to have my tea towel drawer right here, which is really good, although it's extra full. Um, my phone's only on 20%, so I'm hoping it doesn't die. That would be very sad. Anyway, you'll find out if it does. Um, still waiting for that television crew and the makeup crew to come racing in one day. Uh, so a couple of things. Winter, we talked about the idea that now I come home from work and I put on my Udi, take off my makeup, do my skincare. And my other latest thing that I'm totally obsessed about is tea, all sorts of tea. I'm happy to hear this. How cute is this little thing? You fill it up with the tea and then it just sort of hangs out in your teacup and infuses it. So I've actually got some lemon and ginger in honor of the lemon dish, but I'm just totally loving all the different options available. Who else here drinks tea? Are you girls? And boys tea drinkers because it's blooming beautiful and really what I love is the idea that I'm now way more looking forward to a cup of tea than say to a glass of wine which used to be my thing that I'd come home and get a glass of wine while I did all the cooking and now actually I decided I don't really want to do that anymore and I don't miss it I'm now really loving the idea of cups of tea and in fact, I've now got this other little root. Oh, another tea person, lots of tea. So my other little thing, and I can't remember if I was talking about this last week, but even if I was, I'm gonna say it again. G going to bed. <laughs> so going to bed is one of the things that I struggle doing. I know a lot of people do. It's a hangover, I think, from when the children were little and they were, um, <laughs> You don't want to know it's over here, it's a cat. Get out, get out. Um, and the kids were little and it was like, your time, yay, my time. And I would sit on the couch going, oh, it's my time. I don't want my time to end. I don't want my time to end. I just want to stay up here watching television till, you know, crazy o'clock. And then I'd eventually drag myself off into bed and then I'd be tired and the whole thing would start all over again. So what I've started doing is I've started calling Bed is my rejuvenation palace. It's where I go to rejuvenate, where my cells go to repair. And I'm thinking there's no point sort of, you know, doing all this lovely skincare if I then 
stress my cells from not enough sleep. So in, rather than thinking of it as boring and it's something you just have to do at the end of the day, um, it's my rejuvenation. So I go into my rejuvenation palace and now what I've started doing is, because I like to try and brush my teeth a bit early so that I'm not tempted to eat after dinner, brush my teeth, that's all done. I've got my Udi on, that's all done. And I can just then take this particular cup, which I got for Mother's Day from one of my darlings, and I go and have my cup of tea in bed and I read a bit on my Kindle. So I've deleted all the apps off my, all the games off my phone, because that's another thing that I used to sort of get stuck into. Even today, I de today, today I deleted my last one, very helpfully, because it's really just a time sink. And the idea is that I wanna do things that are helpful Okay, and sometimes you get to a point where something, a little pleasure, is no longer helpful. So for me, I'm very mindful of the fact that I have a propensity to get addicted to those little games. And you know, there's a million of them. And I've realized that it's really just a bit like sugar. So for me, sugar came in all sorts of forms. Snakes, as in the lollies. <laughs> Bags of lollies, I love lollies. Um, chocolate, ice cream, cakes, whatever so many different forms um, and really games on my phone is the same candy crush and i'm going oh i'm not playing candy crush because i'm not doing sugar so that went then i got stuck into this one called galaxy which is a bit like the old-fashioned galaga and it, it just it sucks you in all the time so they're absolutely the same the phone is just as addictive as 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 a lot of our food is and it's designed to be like that. These games, the platforms, they all know. So, I mean, the irony is that I'm doing a cooking show on Facebook, probably the most, um, ooh, that's ready, uh, possibly the most addictive platform of all. So, let me just have a stir of this. Okay, wow, that looks great. Who knew? Who knew I could be such a chef? So, what I'm gonna do, I heard, did you hear my microwave beeping? There it is. I'm going to go and grab a plate, plate it up, show you what it's like, and we'll go from there. Helps if I get the plate out of the drawer. Right. So, this is the dinner. It looks incredible. So, I've got, it's poached, this salmon. You could definitely, as I said, definitely do it with chicken. Now, you know, again, people go, oh, I don't know if it's cooked. You can always just, salmon's very forgiving. It's really, it is cooked. It's perfect all the way through. So, you can just chop it and have a look. Same with your chicken if you're really worried. That's a biggie, so I might just, yeah, I'll just have, I'll just, did you see what I did there? I'm going, oh, it looks delicious. I might have two. Actually, I had quite a, I had, a, I had lunch today and it was a little later, so I'm not super hungry. And then look, here's some sauce. Drizzle that over. And then, oh, these greens look good. They're just perfect. Like they're not too, you don't want them too soggy. So they're just really good. One minute was all I did. Depending on your microwave, you might want to do two. It's no big deal if you need to do an extra minute. Hmm, I'll take this bit of stick out, will I? And then I would normally put, um, I'd put some butter and some salt on that. Don't know where my butter's gone. Oh, here. And voila, one restaurant quality, bit of goop on the side, dinner in well, about 19 minutes. Less than, less than, because I've been chatting. I could have done it much faster if I wasn't so busy chatting. So today, lovelies, again, you can do it with chicken. You could do it with um, any white fish if you had some white fish around. Um, it's just simple. Lemon, butter, cream, bit of mingle. If you haven't got mingle, you can put some garlic, um, you know, some granulated garlic or something like that in it and fresh dill or dried dill. I just thought the dill, dill would go well with the, um, with the fish, but would go equally well with the chicken. So that's it. That's it. Reminder, go to bed, go to your rejuvenation palace, take a cup of tea, put your phone away, read a book, and life's great. Um, 
For those of you who know, if you've, if you've followed Mary, poor Mares, she's been a bit under the weather this week. We've had a couple of big weeks of just work and doing stuff. Um, we need to take our own medicine and actually take, you know, uh, step, what is it, take the foot off the gas or whatever the term is. Um, you'll see that we've got some birthday surprises coming up. Over the next few days, there's a couple of posts coming on our birthday bundle. We have a new, we have two new programs. So our new programs are the Doctor's Complete Guide to Low Carb Living, which is the really the first four weeks of our 12 week program, which really just goes all into the food, the hormones, the, you know, what cream should I buy? Can I drink alcohol? All of that sort of stuff. Um, but you do it at your own pace, okay? So it drips out every four weeks. You decide how much you want to do and you know, you just, and you just go on your merry way and do it. And then we've also got um, our 30 day hypnosis program. So we did this with our members back in March, I think, and it was great. Every day you get a new hypnosis that is just focusing on one aspect of your health. So, you know, I'm the mind queen, so I did all the mind management ones and really un unlocking and unblocking. Mary, oh God, Mary's voice is so beautiful, but she's the she body and spirit. So 30 days of beautiful meditations and hypnosis to really just, uh, you know, grab hold of that health that you're looking for and just oh, get it. Um, and then the bundle also includes the, my Sugar Addiction Masterclass. So have a look out for it. You'll see it over the next few days. We'll probably bang on about it a fair bit. But um, we are excited because they're pretty good. And uh, I guess that's it. So my lovelies, I'm going to go and um, eat this dinner before it gets cold. And I will see you all next week for cooking, coaching and conversations. And don't forget, Mary is in the group. So our low carb, real food Facebook group that is our, our group that we moderate and all that stuff. Uh, she, every morning, eight o'clock this week, she's doing a live um, just with her musings on the world. And we will see you all soon. Oh, and a new podcast came out today as well. So look out for that too. Wonderful. All right, darlings, bye now. Film crew, can you turn off? No, oh, they're still not here. I'll go turn off the camera. Speedy Gonzalez here.